this one is a bit creepy. Like I said, because we like, there's a possibility of other people being in here, so. There's a lot of my thin people staying here. Okay, right, definitely people here. <laughs> What's up guys, hello and welcome back to another Explorer. Now I'm whispering right now because we're just about to go in. Um, door is literally wide open as you can see right behind us. Um, but we do, we're kind of aware that there could be squatters here. So I'm being quiet and also we're in a really kind of populated area as well so I'm trying to be quiet as well. <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna head on inside. Definitely lights for this because it looks dark inside. Um, so let's go. So this place used to be a juvenile magistrate's court. So this looks like it was one of the main courtrooms. Um, picture this I have seen. Didn't look this trashed last time. Like I said, we, we are aware, we, we went around the whole building when we first came in and there was like a tent uh, set up in the like main middle courtyard bit um, and it does look like people have been sleeping here. Whether they've been sleeping in the building, I'm not sure, but it does look like someone's going to smash the place. Like the door was wide open, so it wasn't exactly um, difficult to get in. <laughs> this one's a bit freaky, isn't it? Yeah. So I thought I'd pause the video right here because uh, I'm editing the video right now and I've literally just noticed on the left hand side here there's actually some blood on the door frame which I did not notice at all when we were there. I honestly didn't even know it was there until I started editing the video. Uh, but yeah, that's just another element to uh, to freak us out because this place was very strange, very creepy. And like I said, could have been people here and the fact that there's now blood on the door frame. Oh. <laughs> if I'd known that, I probably wouldn't have gone any further. But yeah, didn't spot it. Just thought I'd stop and point it out now. So that just goes out to walk along. That would have been the main entrance of it. Yeah, because this would have been the reception area. Mm. Okay, so this would have been like the offices for the reception. Got that would have been cash office through there because that's why there's the safe in there. And this would have been the actual reception window where guests would have come and people would have checked them in or told them where to go or whatever. So the room we're going to go in next is this one here on the right, which is I'm assuming would be the cash office. Seeing as the safe's in here. Come on, Steph, we could be millionaires. What in one safe? You'd, uh, yeah, there could be there could be a drug deal with money in there. You never know. What like, in a in a court? Yeah, they could have they could have fined him a lot. Yeah, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, go on then, guess. Do you reckon the tap's gonna be working today? That's gonna look at the state of that tap as well, it's proper like bent. I can't even <laughs> it wouldn't even turn, it's so fucked. <laughs> phone's uh, ringing. Why is it? Yeah, the phone's ringing, can't you hear it? How exciting. You better pick it up. Oh, fine. I'll pick it up. It's probably just Neil anyway. It's Neil. It is. Hey, Neil. Huh? I can't play Fortnite right now. No, seriously, I'm an explorer. I can't play Fortnite right now. I can't. Fine, later on. Alright, see you later. Bye. Always want to play Fortnite. Just doesn't stop. That was another phone. That one's off the hook, though. <laughs> That's why it's off the hook. <laughs> it doesn't actually sit on it. Quite some stare up here. Eh? Quite doesn't it? It smells like a hospital. It's like bleach. Here we go guys, I wanted to quickly show you this. This is the main like courtyard bit in the middle. And this is what we saw over there. There's like a tent just there. 
beneath where we are as well, there's like a, a stairwell uh, that has a doorway where there's like drinks and look like people's shoes and stuff. So it does look like there might have been people staying here. Definitely people here. <laughs> there's actually food and stuff over there. leave that area I think just because we're not too sure if there are people here or not I mean, it might just be where they were here or they're going to come back later I'm not sure but they're not here right now I and mean, it's not like when we was at the um, theatre we kind of knew that they would let people in they might get really defensive they might be on something <laughs> that's the problem oh that's that's a juvenile court oh it's tiny um this one says reset for protected socket outlets, trip switch. That's, that's the keys for the electric chair. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where we are because isn't there another section that side we haven't been to yet, isn't there? Yeah, I don't know how to get to So guys, this is the dilemma we've got. That building there, of that part of the building, is the courtroom. And that door I showed you inside leads to this bit here. And it looks like down there, that cells by the looks of those windows. And obviously we've got this whole other bit, but we can't get to it because the only door to it is from that courtroom and it's locked, which is a pain in the ass. <laughs> so, damn. Okay, so we're gonna have a quick look around again because we're not entirely unconvinced we didn't miss a door. So, um, I'm gonna give it a go and see if we can find somewhere else. Cause I'm sure there's another section of this we can't get to. Well, if we go around here so we can see the courtyard, it's probably the best way of doing it, isn't it? What was in here? It's getting dark now. Because that would be quite easy, wouldn't it? So you, you could go across that. I don't know. I don't know whether there's windows this side further up that you could get onto that roof. Or perhaps drop down into that. So guys, I apologise, but I forgot to outro this video, which is why I'm probably still in front of you looking a bit more hairy than uh, in the video. Uh, but uh, thank you so much for watching. I uh, just wanted to say this place was really, really frustrating for us because it looked like a good place. It was really, really smashed when we got there, which was a real shame. Um, but the part we really wanted to get into, and this seems to be a theme with the day that I went out with Steph, is that uh, the, the part we wanted to get into was just locked up tight. Obviously, when we went to the, uh, the lifeboat station place, the place we wanted to get to, locked up tight uh, and this court locked up tight and uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure where the cells were in that kind of area in this uh, particular site I reckon it would have been amazing I reckon it would have been really cool and untouched because it was completely sealed tight I didn't like anyone to got in there that door in the courtroom was the only way we could find in there um, barring like there was like a, a, a like an outside bit where all the cars police cars and stuff would have parked um, which we could possibly have got into. The problem was at the back of our mind, it was it was starting to get dark and the whole time we were there, we were just wondering because um, obviously we found these, these beds and this food and stuff and the food wasn't like gone off, it was like fresh food. Um, so the whole time we were there, we were kind of at the back of our minds thinking, are people gonna come back while we're here? And it was starting to get dark, so we just decided, you know, we could stay there for hours trying to find a way into that particular place, but it wasn't worth, you know, running into people if they were again we don't know like i said in the video they could have been hostile they might not have been when we found squatters at the theater they we knew from like past people who have been there that they would let you in they'd be kind of friendly um whereas you know we found this place we didn't know anything about the people who were there we obviously found evidence of drugs and stuff like that so we don't know how they're going to react to us being there basically at their home so we didn't think it was worth sticking around to find out so we decided it wasn't worth the effort and just to uh, to leave it for that day um 
and I don't know, maybe come back another day or we'll go and check out, see if we can find another way in uh, or keep an eye on the site. Because sometimes, you know, as people kind of go to the site, this stuff opens up. Sometimes people find other ways in, etc. So I'll keep an eye on the site. And if it does look like anyone's going to that section, we might go back. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Please leave a like and a comment down below and I'll see you again next time. Do you remember yesterday I was saying about how there's so much stuff that's marketed as green that isn't actually green, right? This is relentless apple kiwi, right? Apple kiwi. What colour do you think apple kiwi should be? It's blue!